In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Zoom, OBS, and people in their separate homes, not in the same place, to live stream and make it all work together. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. This is your first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I got this idea from my brother-in-law who's actually been using this method um, to help at their church to where they have their pastor who is staying at home, but some of the praise team, around three people are still at the church and they're doing live music and they wanted to have a way to integrate all this together as well as he's done this and having just um, his YouTube channel where he's talking with multiple people who are in, at home but they wanna be able to live stream. And this is a really clever way of how he did this and I wanna kinda of show it to you here. So let's go ahead and cut over to the computer. All right, so I'm here on Zoom. So what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and start. I have a webcam set up here. Let me slide that over. And let's just go ahead and start a meeting. And I'm gonna try and start a private one here. And I'm gonna join using the audio and all that other fun stuff. So let's come over here. Now I'm gonna start my video, all right? So we got everything and I want to make sure I'm coming from my webcam and all this. Now, I don't have another webcam to set this up unless I do this on my phone. Yeah, let's, let's try and do this on my phone. All right, so right now we have two people and let me use this little stand here so I can hold this up. Now this is a really cool thing. Now the way, what you're going to be doing is actually having a Zoom call, but then we're gonna capture different aspects of this meeting and broadcast it to OBS. All right, so we got this up. Now I'm gonna move this over here to my other screen. And I got a fresh copy of OBS here that has absolutely nothing on it because I was having some NDI issues. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, let, let's, let's make it all nice, all right? So let's make this first first thing, let's add a background here. And I'm just gonna do an image and just be background. So we're gonna do our window capture here. And we'll call it Zoom Person 1. Something real simple, all right? All right, so we change our capture method so that we can get what we need to here. And you can see, boom, we're capturing the entire window of Zoom. All right, so let's okay out of this. And what we're gonna do is let's duplicate this here. Copy, and we're gonna duplicate it. And they got the naming almost close to what we wanted. We're gonna change this to person two. All right, so let's hide number one and we're just gonna do number two. Now what we're gonna do is manipulate this, hold down Alt, and then let's click on one of these buttons and we're gonna cut out everything except for person number two here. And I'm holding down Alt the entire time while I'm doing this. And boom, this is the only thing now you can see. Now I can place this here, and you see I already have a name tag, so let's go ahead and cut that out. And then we can do our own name tag if we want to. And let's cut out the kitchen here. I don't want you to see that. And you can format these windows any way you want to. All right, so boom, there we go. Now, let's bring up person number one, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. this all over here boom. 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 all right so now and then you can come in here now that we've cropped it we can come in and resize this any way we want to you know something like that so it makes it look like you have two different things so now what's happening is a zoom call is going on we are capturing the window <laughs> and we're formatting it 
and putting it inside of OBS. Now, the idea is say that your pastor is staying at home, you can have him or her sitting at the table in a Zoom call, let that call your, um, you have somebody else in the media, if somebody's at church or if somebody else is at home with a more powerful computer that can live stream and handle both, they have a Zoom meeting set up you set this mo um, these video up like this to where you can capture different windows and have like say he's doing um, they're doing Bible study or something like that or you have somebody else or say you have like me and I'm playing on the piano and I'm playing music that you won't get a strike for like on the keyboard so you can cut over here and then they're interacting with each other because the zoom is going to have a better connection with them and then now you are capturing this in obs and now obs can live stream that zoom call after it's been cleaned up in the way make it look all nice and neat and all this other stuff with your different scenes and everything like that any way you want to and then now you can broadcast anywhere facebook um twitch youtube wherever you want really simple all you're doing is running a zoom call in the background between a select few amount of people then window capturing certain aspects of your zoom call to get everything else out of the scene so like for example i can come in here and do this and let's let's add something else in here that i really was not prepared to do but we're going to try it anyway so say we're doing this and we want to bring in some scripture. So what I can do now is while this is going on, you can actually do the exact same thing. Like I have, say I could duplicate this whole scene here and whoever is running this, that's getting rebroadcast to Facebook or whatever platform that you want. What we're going to do is say person one, you know let that be active and then say we're gonna do a display capture of worship extreme where I'm having scripture or something like that in the background and obviously I got all this crazy stuff going on because I'm on that screen so as you can see just imagine I'm having this somebody could be talking and now you have scripture being superimposed over top while they're talking so you can still have scripture being brought in. So it's just like what the ATEM could do that you would do live, but you're just, all of this is powered by a Zoom call and then you're running that into OBS and then you can rebroadcast it, add whatever stuff you want to. So you can still do your countdown timers, your intros, your lyrics, your announcements, everything. But whoever is gonna be mainly focused on your live stream, if they can't be in the church, they can have a zoom call and then OBS is capturing that. So I hope that made sense. <laughs> um, again, really simple. And all we're talking about is really manipulating a lot of these programs and letting them work on top of each other. So I hope that gave you some ideas. Um, cause I know I had a bunch of people wondering how in the world could somebody be at their house, but then somebody else in the media ministry is at their house that has access to everything and how they could live stream them to talking and then still go out to their church. So hopefully that gave you an idea. So let's run over it one more time. All the people that you want to be say me and my pastor, we have a zoom call. He has a webcam, I have a webcam, I capture that, I window capture Zoom, crop out everything else, and say we have two people, three people, four people, whatever that you want. You can crop out each individual person on, your, on a given scene or separate scenes in OBS, and then OBS is now live streaming to your platform of choice. So Zoom is sitting under everything, and they're acting like your cameras if you are physically in the church, but it's being used through OBS. A, a nice little sleight of hand. And again, I wanna thank my brother-in-law for that. That was a really cool idea that he's been using. And thanks again. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate the like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ, we'll see you on the next video later.